Hey guys, this is going to be a, another tutorial, but this one's going to be on how to PvP. Now, I'm not a god at PvP in Gary's Mod, but I do know a few tricks. So I'll try to show you a few things here and there. Um, the first thing you got to know is, when it comes to all the guns in Gary's Mod, they don't have a bullet travel time. So, where you aim is where that bullet's going to land. Well, I mean, depending on the accuracy. But it's going to land there instantly. Now you may see that little tracer, but that's just an effect. So you can shoot to the top of that building the exact moment you pull the trigger. So just keep that in mind. There's no travel time, so you don't need to lead your shots. And yeah, there's no drop. There is, yeah, that's how it works. Um, now we'll just go over kind of the simple Half-Life 2 weapons first. Um, because obviously those are the ones that are pretty much always going to be in the game. Uh, 9mm pistol, it's pretty good if you need to, you know, switch to something desperately just to get a couple more shots off. Um, I don't, I don't use any of the Half-Life 2 weapons, so I'm not really good with any of them. Oh, what the heck? I'm stuck crouched! There it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't do very much damage. Uh, the 357 is probably the most overpowered weapon from Half-Life 2. Uh, mainly because it is 100% accurate, so wherever that middle dot is hanging, that's where the bullet's going to land. So you can get a headshot from clear across the map, just, you know, lining up the shot and pull the trigger. Um, a good thing to do when you're PvPing with this, uh, what a lot of people I've seen doing, is try to keep your mouse at head height. So try not to move up and down too much. Um, if you're really good at b hopping, which I'll get into in just a second if you don't know what that is, um, you could probably, you know, vary that a little bit, but again, I don't use these weapons, so I can't say much for myself. Anyway, if you keep your, uh, aim height at head level, you have a higher chance of hitting just their head and instantly killing them. Uh, it does an instant kill headshot, and then it does 75 damage to a body shot, and then it varies everywhere else, I think. Alright, so SMG, it's probably one of the better ones. It puts down a good fire rate, um... And it, uh, it does pretty good damage. And just like with all the weapons in Half-Life 2, you can sprint while shooting. So that's a very good benefit to the Half-Life 2 weapons. Uh, plasma Rifle, uh, it's a pretty low damage uh, main, like its main fire. But it has an alternative, which is very powerful, which is that. It's like a orb thing. And whatever it hits an enemy, I'll show you with an NPC real quick. It does that. <laughs> it like completely obliterates them. Um, one thing to know about, well, a couple things to know, is when you shoot it and it bounces off of something, it has a tendency to target players. So if there's a player fairly close to and you shoot in the ground in front of them it'll uh, go towards the player wherever the player is at so it it is kind of a player targeting weapon um, also if it's really useful so say someone's like following you and you're trying to get away because you're low on health or something um, say you're running through an alleyway and they're right behind you you can just take this fire behind you just at a slight angle pretty hard to avoid that they'll eventually be hit by it um, that's a good way of getting someone, like I said, who's following you. Or, you you know, if you know he's just in that alleyway, if you know he's going to be right there, just toss it down the alleyway. Good chance you'll hit him. Uh, that's about it with that one. The shotgun is pretty low-powered. There's not much to it other than um, you can single-fire with left-click and uh, shoot two round or two shells with right-click. So just keep that in mind. But I honestly don't use it. It's not very good. Now the crossbow is my favorite because it takes a little bit of skill to use it. It does scope in, so right click you'll scope in, but I don't ever use it. Um, and it does 100 damage, so it'll kill pretty much anyone one hit, unless they obviously have more than normal amount of health. Um, this one is the only weapon that does have a bullet time, because it's not an actual bullet. It's a, As you can see on there, it's like a big uh, rebar, red hot rebar. Um, so it will drop, and it does take quite a bit of time to reach its target, as you can see there. 
Um, so if you're aiming at something really high, really far away, and you aim right at it, it's definitely not going to hit it. Um, so just like any other game that does have a bullet time, lead your shots. Obviously, this guy's not moving, so that doesn't really matter. But yep, that's the crossbow. Grenade. It's not hugely powerful, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, good tactic that a lot of people use, like I just did there, is if you throw a grenade and then throw a grenade next to it. Oh, I didn't even see where that one went. It bounces the grenade, just like in Halo and a lot of other games. So that's a good tactic to use. Oh, didn't even do it that time. Um, okay, and then the RPG. This is probably one of the, again, a very overpowered gun. I would say it's probably not as powerful as some of like M9K guns, but um, it's definitely something to fear. Uh, a good player with a rocket launcher can do um, corner shots. So, say if a player, you know, is running behind this corner to try to get away from you, whatever, but you have a rocket launcher, you can shoot. Okay, well, the first thing I should say, this this rocket is laser guided. So, as I shoot, you can see that the rocket follows wherever I aim. Um, so, if, as I was saying, a player runs around that corner, you can shoot, wait for the rocket to hit, uh, go beyond the corner, and then turn. So the rocket will try to turn around and come back, and it will just turn and hit the wall next to it. Oops, I didn't anyway. So I don't, I don't use these enough to, but kind of like that. And then uh, that's it for the uh, Half-Life 2 ones. Um, I won't go over any of the other ones aside from N9, M9K, just because these are the only other ones I've ever used. I'm not huge into CW or FAS, just because they're kind of a pain. They take a little, they're a little bit more realistic in the sense that when you pull one up, the animations are longer and um, the uh, recoil on them and everything is a little more true to life. So I just don't use them. Um, but they have tons of different ones. And a lot of the FAS and CW, if not, I think all of them can be modified. Uh, but M9K cannot. They're just a lot simpler. Uh, with M9K and um, really a lot of the guns, they're going to be a little bit more specific on where you hit. So if you hit them in the foot, they're obviously not going to take much damage, but if you hit them in the head, M9K is very powerful for that. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't really use these enough to know if that's really a, the big difference. But if you're in a firefight, that's the one place you should be aiming. Don't worry about anywhere else. I mean, they could be rushing you, and you could be near death. If you get two shots to the head with a lot of M9K weapons, it'll be a kid, no matter what. So keep that in mind. And then, with M9K, uh, if you're looking for the more OP guns, you're going to probably want to be in the shotguns, because these are powerful as hell. Um, I can spawn in a few enemies. I mean, I don't even have to hardly aim, and it just lays them out. Um, so, a few of these are full auto, like the Jackhammer, the USATS, the Striker 12. Um, they're full auto shotguns, but a couple of these aren't. This is only double barrel, but this is probably the most powerful shotgun there is. It does crazy amounts of damage. Um, yeah. Uh, assault rifles, the ones I technically use are like the AK, the HK416. Um, what else do I use? Sometimes the L85 and the M14. Uh, machine guns, <laughs> you can try to use the minigun, but honestly, for me at least, I can never aim it well because it's got such a high climb, as you can tell. So, yeah, good luck with that. Um, but as far as these, I only one I ever really use is the um, the air strike. It's pretty good control and does a lot of damage. Pistols, of course, I don't really ever use them. This is the I think this is the only fully automatic pistol, Glock 18. Um, but I think a lot of people generally use either the Glock 18, the Desert Eagle, 
Um, what else do I see people use a lot? The HK-45, I think a lot of people use. Uh, but there's quite a few revolvers and different things. And there's even a couple of scoped ones. Uh, sniper rifles, I use the AW-50. I, I don't know, I just like it. Um, a few of these are semi-automatic, a few of them are bolt. The AW-50 is a bolt. Pretty damn accurate, too. Um, specialties, you'll see a lot of these um, being nerfed on servers just because they're psychotically overpowered, especially the Davy Crockett. I'm not even going to shoot this because it's just ridiculous. It, it's a nuke, basically. <laughs> There's a huge explosion going off. Actually, you know what? I will. I'll just go fly up. Oh, I forgot I need to be in rope. Why you know let me fly? Okay, never mind. I guess it won't let me. But yeah. And as you can see, the splash damage on it is crazy huge. Anyway, um, then they have a few swords, um, explosive round things, and this is just a grenade launcher. Pretty simple one. Uh, this is a single fed one. Uh, the Matador is a RPG. This is a, uh, a, what do they call it, drum fed, um, grenade launcher. Best with grenade launchers. Uh, there's nitroglycerin. Orbital Strike is another really overpowered one, which is always nerfed. <laughs> anyway. So you'll get the gist of it. I mean, there's a lot of different stuff to M9K. I mean, there's some machine guns that I don't use. And, um... Yeah. But, so, that's the different types of guns. Let me talk to you a little bit about tactics. Um, with a lot of FPS games... The first person to initiate the firefight generally wins, so be on your toes. Um, if you have high frame rate, obviously you can flip from back and forth really easily and see what you're doing. But if you can't do that, try to keep your back against a wall, so that way you don't get shot in the back. Um, when you play on a server like this, I know the spawn points on this server pretty well, so if I'm PvPing, I'll generally just be right here and waiting for people to respawn and look for them and give them a fair chance. Of course, don't just spawn kill them, but I'll wait for them to get a gun or run for a few seconds and then I'll, you know, strip, just go kill them. Um, when you are PvPing, the, you want to always keep your uh, shift button pressed. There's no reason to ever walk slow. I mean, the faster you move, the harder you are to hit. And then, if you've been watching me, I've been B hopping. That's just, you know, when you jump in Gary's mod or like a lot of games, you run faster. That's why they call it B hopping. Uh, it works forward and back. Um, a lot of players, a lot of the pros, I can't really do it that well. But when they jump, they'll look specific directions to because when you're in the air, you still have control over your player. So if I go to the top of this tower real quick. And when I jump off, I can still control where my character's moving. So I'll just try to move just barely off, and then I can still probably land on that building there. So I'm against the wall, and then if I press forward... Oh, well, it's not doing as much now. But you can see I did move a little bit. I'll try it again. I'm just going to jump off this time. And then I can move sideways. So that's how much I deviated myself. So when you're in the air, you have a little bit of control which you can use that to your advantage. Like I said, some of the pros, they can use it really well. Um, so that just makes you a harder target to hit. So if you're trying to avoid someone, say you're trying to heal up or something, um, and you're using like the med kit or whatever, and it takes a second, you can do that. Um, and again, B hopping, you're a harder target vertically to hit because you're constantly moving vertically. So it's harder for someone to get a headshot on you. So that's a very beneficial thing. Um, and in a lot of servers, most servers, 
you can just spawn in health and items right in front of you as you're walking. So don't don't sit there and then go through your stuff. Hold W and then hit Q so you continue to walk. And then find what do you need. Say you need to go to Half-Life 2 and you need to get some ammo or whatever. And it spawns in front of you and then you'll just walk over it. Or like health kits, health files, grenades, anything like that. And uh, the suit, I don't even know if I can know what button it is. But there is a suit zoom. I think I just don't have it bound. Uh, you can zoom with the, if you have a suit enabled. Um, I've seen players do that. I, again, I just I've never done it. Um, uh, what else is there? Well, it's probably all that I know of top my head. Uh, you can bind buttons. So I don't know if I've ever told you this in my regular tutorials. Um, but if you go into your um, console, you can bind things. So if you do say uh what's a good button i don't have bound and if you do bind space the letter you want to be bound or button so i'm gonna do n and then um i think it's gm spawn whip and then i'm gonna exit out find the weapon i want say this one Oh, you know what? I did put it into quotations. If you're doing something that's more than one word, you need to do quotations. <laughs> I forgot what the command was for a second there, so I went to go look it up. Um, but yeah, it's this. If you do that, that'll spawn in a weapon in front of you. But if you bind that to a button, like I was saying earlier, so bind in GM spawn. Oops. Spawn. Swip. Ugh. I forgot the quotes. Then if I hit N, it spawns them in. So I can just walk around, hit N, get my ammo, or anything that I set that to, and it'll do that. And so if you do spawn swep, that does weapons. It's called swep weapon and swep. Or spawn sent, so like that. That's for uh, entities, so like your health and ammo and stuff. But that's about it. That's all I've got for you. Um, if you're still getting pwned after that and all those tips I gave you, well, I, I, I guess I, I failed. But hopefully that'll get you a few more kills here and there. Um, just take into mind that there are a lot of really good players that come on every once in a while. And just because they're better than you doesn't necessarily mean they're hacking. But... There are hackers as well. So if they're snapping to you, like you'll be walking this direction, or they will be walking this direction, and you're behind them, and they snap directly to you and like instantly headshot you, yeah, they're probably hacking. But other than that, you should be pretty good. You should have a fairly even playing field at that point if you take all those suggestions I had. So hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys later.